Alright, hello, and welcome to a new Rayman Redesigner level. Today, I'm going to show you through my own level, Portrait Palace. I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, six cages to find, one present, and one magician token. There is a link to download this level in the description, so if you want to play the level first before you watch the video, feel free to pause it now, download it, then come back later. This section here was heavily inspired by Space Mama's Crater. You know that section where you have to jump over all those green spikes? Now those bullets took a little while to figure out where to put them, where the safest part was. Originally there was going to be two at the end there, but I changed it to one. And here is the first hidden cage in the level. Little secret here, if you hit that ting, that will trigger a life which will appear just above this pencil. Which you have to make a very good timed jump. Here we go, that is that extra life only if you trigger it. Now, this section also took quite a lot of practice to try and get it right. Originally, there was going to be lots of those pink rings, but I changed it to this yin-yang ball. And of course, I added this bullet very late as well. I almost forgot about it when I was recording the video as well. And this sharpener takes us nicely to the end of the first section. This level is made up of four parts, an extra cheeky life as well. So here we are in the second section. As you can see, there is ink rain, there's lightning, there's pencils, there's enemies everywhere. Now, of course, this level is called Portrait Palace, which many will know is very similar to Crystal Palace. I took a little bit of inspiration from that. Not the football team, by the way. Nobody can be inspired by them. Again, more inspiration here from Space Mama's Crater. This section very reminiscent of that lightning section. Now, as you saw earlier, there was a cage down there, nice and sneaky. I do like to try and hide them in all the levels. They're never usually in plain sight, so be on the lookout for them. Now, that Gendor did more than trigger those enemies. It actually made these rings over here appear. In this section, it's also very different to its original. There was only this platform over here to the right. That was actually a cage. I've changed that to a life because I've made a whole new section where I've hidden another cage. I am messing this up, by the way. I'm very bad at my own level. Then I added this part over here for the Magician Token. There we go, got it eventually. Now a cool thing I found out only after playing Rayman Designer, you can actually punch those eyes and it completely disables them. Another late addition here. I saw I had a little bit of space over to the left. It looked a little bit barren. So I thought I'd add a little extra life there for you. Now then, this whole section is very similar to a Razor Plains. That section where the pencils go down into the ink. And if you do stay on that pencil specifically, it will drown you. So you have to make sure to stay above the ink. Again, another level where if you jump over the ending sign, it triggers a platform. 
Make sure to always jump over the end signs in Rayman. That is a good lesson to learn. And that takes us to the halfway point, section number two, done. Here we are then, now in section number three. A very narrow level, in fact, where this cage is, that is the top of the level, and where the ink is, is the bottom. Very similar to a style of level in Swamps of Forgetfulness. Luckily I didn't forget about that level. Of course, this big guy usually found in Bandland, but I feel like he fat, fat in. <laughs> yes, he, he fat in. He's so fat that he fat into the pencil levels. What am I on about? I don't know. Now, this platform here, you can actually make move in any direction and any speed you want. So I managed to make it speed up there nice and quickly to try and put you off. I know a lot of people don't tend to do commentary for their Rayman redesigner levels, so I hope it's not too off-putting. I'm trying to make sure it's much more of a chill commentary than normal. I'm just kind of explaining the level as I go and have a nice gap so you can hear the music and the atmosphere of the level. Now this moving platform is actually from Candy Chateau. But that's a level type I almost never make levels for. Maybe I will make one in the future as we move on to section number four. This whole starting section is very reminiscent of Bongo Hills. I do take quite a lot of inspiration from the original levels. As you will see, my levels I tend to think are regular difficulty, something that would fit into the regular game rather than making them extra hard and almost impossible to complete. If you're enjoying the video, feel free to give it a like. The support on my Rayman Redesigner videos have been really awesome so far. I do hope to make more in the future. I think my next level may be a Playtopia level, since I've never made one before as it was not in the original Rayman Designer. Of course I add a moth in, everyone's least favourite type of enemy. And there's a P down there, that used to also be a cage. Let me know, do you think it's okay to have more than six cages in a level? I want to try and make my levels as realistic to Rayman 1 as possible. So if you have a level with ten cages, would that be okay? Now, this section is where I made the most changes. This section is so much different to the original. There was going to be a diagonal sharpener there, there was going to be extra enemies, there were more platforms there, more spikies, but I felt like it was too hard, it wasn't working so well, so I had to keep moving things here and there. Now we come into the final stretch of the level. Really enjoyed making this level. They do take quite some time. In fact, this one probably took about 20 or so hours overall just to make. As I almost make a mistake there, and we get to the exit. Clear time in the end, 9 minutes 16. Let me know your times down in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. But for now, take care and leave me alone.